Now, Bibb County deputies are looking for the people responsible in several shootings that happened over the weekend. Six shootings within 24 hours. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz has a breakdown of these incidents and the possible connection between two of the shootings. Yeah, Michael, it was a busy weekend for Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Now, six shootings resulting in three homicides and one arrest. One of those shootings actually happened here on Mason Street and claimed the life of 44 year old Marlon Williams. As you can see behind me, his friends have gathered and put a memorial together in his memory. They tell me that they think he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But earlier today, I spoke to Colonel Aubrey Evans, who says these multiple shootings seem to be separate shootings, but the one that happened here on Mason Street and the one that happened a few blocks away on um, Binding Circle, excuse me, it could be related. A lot of bad things happen at one bad time. A string of shootings in Bibb County started Friday night on Monroe Avenue just before 10. A subject that was out walking the street and he was robbed and during the robbery he was shot. With a gunshot wound to the leg, 60 year old Alvin Oliver was able to call for help. Three hours later, also in West Macon, 44-year-old Jim Baldwin was found dead on Berkner Avenue. Him and an individual was having some words and got into an altercation. With the help of witnesses, deputies were able to arrest 26-year-old Terrell Mitchell in connection to Baldwin's murder. Another altercation resulted in gunshots 30 minutes later. This time at the Quick Serve gas station on Rocky Creek Road. Two individuals. Uh, actually shot each other after uh, a short confrontation in the store. Back in West Macon, just an hour later, 44-year-old Marlon Williams was shot to death after being robbed at a store on Mason Street. And as he fled the store after being robbed, uh, he was shot at, in which he was struck, and he died. At the same time, a man at Chamber Cove Apartments fired a shot through his door after he heard someone rattling with his doorknob. Go away, no response, and then he heard him starting to turn the doorknob, and they, they, they panicked, and he fired a shot. Striking 35-year-old Chaz Green in the head. Neighbors wondering, we hadn't seen or heard from a, one of our neighbors, so hey, we need to cut, we need to check. Bibb County deputies ended Saturday night with a gruesome discovery just blocks away from Williams' murder. 75-year-old Ann Leonard was found dead inside her home on Vining Circle with a shot to the chest. How the direction of the projectile may have, what direction it may have come through. Deputies found a bullet hole near her window. Now, investigators are left to wonder if this shooting could be related to the one on Mason Street. We can't positively say until you know, we get the evidence and, and review the evidence. And investigators are still combing through the scene. A few investigators just got back on the scene here. Now they're hoping that more people will also come forward. If you know anything, if you've seen anything, say something. That's what they're hoping. Even the smallest piece of information can help. For now, reporting live in Macon, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. All right, Edna. Well, if you have any information, call the Bibb County Sheriff's Office at 751-7500 or Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME. Remember, you can stay anonymous.